Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to explore a phrase that I have heard hundreds of times by judges in the family court and the implications behind that phrase. And that phrase is, we are where we are. But before I unpack all of that, let me explain that nothing represents legal advice because you don't need legal advice and you don't need absolutely pointless lawyers in the family court. The all too often sick in the head family court lawyers who can't get you what you want and where there is absolutely no advantage to having them. But who would happily fleece you out of tens of thousands of pounds, would happily leave you in lifelong crippling debt, would happily increase acrimony and engage in totally unnecessary work for their own financial gain, while selling you nothing more than snake oil. It's time to stop getting mugged off by family court lawyers. Now then, let's get down to business. That commonly used phrase by judges up and down the country, usually in child arrangement cases, we are where we are. In layperson terms, if a judge says that to you, the message is very clear. It is a judge kindly telling you to stop bleating on about the past, to stop licking the wounds of your hurty feelings, to stop trying to disparage and attack your ex, and to instead, to start looking to the future rather than the past. Now, interestingly, this phrase is most commonly expressed to non-resident parents who are the mostly fathers desperately trying to establish contact with their children. Perhaps they have been denied contact by the vindictive, spiteful, vengeful resident parents who are mostly mothers. And the father simply wants the judge to understand their plight, that they have been wronged, that they have been thrown under the family court bus. Now, the reality is that the court simply doesn't care about all of that. They honestly don't. The chances of them ever criticising the mummy is about as rare as finding hen's teeth. You are simply banging your head against a very thick oak door, which isn't going to be opening anytime soon. So when the judge says we are where we are, the wise ones will take stock, perhaps take some time out, reflecting that they may be on the wrong track achieving very little, a need to reconsider their approach, to instead concentrate on the next steps forward rather than the steps that brought them to this point. Therefore, when a judge expresses that phrase, they are often trying to be helpful. The judge is trying to steer you in the right direction, where moving forward more positively may actually help you. Now, what I am going to say next is often a very sad reflection of the reality that many fathers face. There are occasions where it is clear that the father really has been thrown under the family court bus. For example, his children are 10 and 12 years of age. The mother has outrageously spent the last few years steadily undermining contact and the loving bonds between the children and father vindictively poisoning the children against him to the point that they don't want to see him anymore. Kafkas do their Section 7 report concluding that the children have naturally aligned with the mother and due to their wishes and feelings that contact should only happen at their pace and only if they want to. In effect, severing the, the relationship with the father. So the father attends the next dispute resolution appointment, shouting from the rafters that the children have been alienated from him, that the mother has controlled and manipulated the children, and that the court must understand that she is an evil wrongdoer, pulling the wool over the eyes of the professionals and the court. Now the judge on hearing these pleas simply says, we are where we are. You see, even if the mother has alienated the children, the children are now alienated and the court can't undo that. 
the wishes and feelings of the children are clear and they are of the age where their wishes carry considerable weight. It no longer matters how much the father protests and fights, we are where we are and the children's voices must be heard. Ultimately, the father can drag this out to a final hearing, but the likely reality is that all the power will be handed to the children to see their father only if they want to, and it is probably game over for the father, leaving him crushed in pieces with his mental health in tatters. But the court doesn't give a toss about that because the father has no rights in law to see the children anyway. It is the right of the child to see their father and it is clear that in this case that they don't want to. So ladies and gentlemen, what happens if you ever hear those words, we are where we are? Well, it either means that you are on the wrong track and the judge wants to try and move you forward onto a different path and is trying to do you a favour. Alternatively, it can be the phrase of doom signalling the end of your family court journey and the final nail in the coffin in the relationship between you and your children. I am Philip Kedge, the Kick-Ass McKenzie Friend and Director of the McKenzie Friend UK Network with over 13 years of experience in our beloved broken and dystopian family court. For assistance with all of your family court needs, please contact me right now at contactphil.co.uk. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.